Hi, this is Billy Corrigan talking about entrepreneur, finance, business and money. This is in the video list of spiritual entrepreneur. Let me just read you something out of the Bible. Put me glasses on to read it. Let's have a look. Okay. Matthew, verse 7, 7, 8. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be open to you. For everyone who has receives he who seeks finds and to him who knocks the door will be open that is God asking you to ask him for specific things is wanting you to ask him for help in your life as an entrepreneur if you want your business to do well and attract more customers then ask God specifically to help you in your business seek and you shall find in other words ask him and you'll find that the door will be open to you he's waiting for you to ask it is not wrong for you to ask things from God or want in abundance and wealth and to be rich God wants you to have these things is waiting for you to ask him for these things King Solomon in the Bible became one of the richest kings and men man in the world God asked him what he wants and King Solomon says, can you give me wisdom? And with that wisdom, he became the wealthiest man in the world. So if you want your business to take off and to be successful, ask God to give you wisdom for that business. Ask God to help you gain knowledge and wisdom in your finances. Ask God to help you serve more people and to help more people with your finances and business. Is waiting for you to ask. So ask today for abundance, health, wealth, happiness and love ask for all these things he will be glad to give you it wouldn't you if you're a parent and you've got children wouldn't you want the best for your children wouldn't wouldn't you want your children to be wealthy healthy wouldn't you give your children everything you've got to make them happy well that's what god wants for us we are god's children and he wants to see us happy and rejoicing and he will be gladly to give us what we ask for and he will rejoice and be happy giving his children abundance wealth and success 
But before we ask, we've got to do something for God. As we said in the other videos, we never get anything on this planet and in this universe for nothing. It doesn't exist. You cannot get anything without giving back or receiving or trading or doing something to get something back. It's got to be a balance. It's got to be a two-way thing. Same with God. We can't just ask and expect God to give us without giving God something back. And what God wants us to do is we've got to ask God to clear the negative energy around us so we can open the channel, open the door and we shall receive. And opening the door is clearing your sins. So we've got to repent our sins. We all sin, every one of us. I do, everyone. We can't say we don't. So we've got to repent these sins and ask God to forgive us for our sins. Now, when we ask God to forgive us, open the door. That's asking God. He's opening that door so once the doors open, the channels open, we can start receiving God's gifts and rewards. He will reward us with what we ask for if we repent our sins. And he loves that. He rejoices in that. So before you ask God in prayer... And be specific for you what you want. Open the door first, which is the consciousness, which is the channel and the energy. And ask for forgiveness for your sins. And then after when you've done that, then ask God to give you wisdom in your business and finances. And you will receive his gifts to you. So don't be scared to ask. People don't ask. We usually say prayers to heal people. We usually say prayers for other people, which is good. But people forget to ask for themselves. And it's not selfish. And God wants you to ask for yourself. You are a child of God. You are God's child. And he wants to see you happy. He wants to see you rejoicing and having fun. And building your spirit up and your character. And he will help you do that. So don't be afraid to ask God for yourself for something you need to serve people, to help people, to help your family, to help the universe, to help God do his work. Ask and it will be given to you. This is Peter Corrigan talking about entrepreneur, finance, business, money and spiritual entrepreneur. And don't forget, take care of each other.